state lawmaker wants to provide clear policy for a legal gender change here in Utah. Opposition from conservative lawmakers and the LGBTQ community doomed the bill this year, but it will be back. The process for a legal gender change will be up for debate once again on Utah's Capitol Hill. State Senator Todd Weiler is bringing back the bill. I'm trying to start the education process earlier, so this will go to interim committee in August, and the bill, I think, will come out in the first week of the session instead of the second to last week of the session. He says an outdated 1970s statute is leaving judges with too much discretion. He says some are granting every request, while others are denying every request. Although there's criteria that the legislature has given the courts to consider a name change, that we've, we've been silent on the gender change. So each judge kind of has to make up their own criteria. That's why he wants the legislature to set a clear policy for judges to follow. The LGBTQ community says that needs to happen because the inconsistency is unfair. Yeah, my observational um, feeling is that we're in the area of about 70% are being awarded. Sue Robbins with the Utah Pride Center says the denials are coming out of Weber County and rural Utah. She supports the premise of the bill, but opposes two parts of it. One, an age limit that Weiler says could be dropped to 15 or 16 this time around. Second, a requirement that shows a birth certificate has been amended. Here we're talking about a legal intervention, aligning our legal documentation up with who we are so that when we're out in society, we're in school, we're at work, we're not outed to everybody. We're just able to live life like everybody else without our past being thrown up against us. The Utah Supreme Court heard oral arguments on a case against a Weber County judge back in January, but hasn't ruled on it yet. Senator Weiler says regardless of what the court does, the legislature still needs to act.